All right, we have started. Okay, so good morning comments. Here are your morning announcements for Friday, August 20th, and it is an A day. Hopefully, all of you have discovered that by now. The class and mission is to ensure that all students learn at high levels to become high quality, academically prepared global citizens. Please stand for the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We will now salute the flag of the state of Oklahoma. I salute the flag of the state of Oklahoma. Its symbols of peace unite all people. We will now observe a moment of silence to reflect, meditate, pray, or engage in any silent activity that does not interfere with others. The moment of silence will begin now. All right, you may be seated. Students, we had a PAL meeting yesterday in the auditorium. If you did not get to go to that meeting and you are a fifth and sixth grader that are interested in football and or volleyball, please see Mr. Blanco at lunches to let him know of your interest. Also, it has begun. Volleyball is here on Monday night. We have a volleyball game starting here Monday night versus Star Spencer. That will be at 530. Very excited about that. We do have a few birthdays today. Fabian, Akeen, and then over the weekend, Jenny, Matthew, Miriam, and Rain. Happy birthday, Comets. It's National Lemonade Day, so if you get a chance to celebrate that, that would be delicious. Also, it's going to be 89 degrees, which is going to be a little on the hotter side. Um, and at lunch, hold on real fast. I'm sorry. I thought I was going to pull this up in time. Let me get you your lunch menu so you can make your digestive preparations. Lunch is breakfast for lunch. They've got pizza, pepperoni pizza, turkey, chef salad, and a cheeseburger for lunch. Schedule changes are due today. That is on Canvas, of course. Office 8 applications are also due today. You can find that on, in, or on Canvas. Monday is an A day, so don't forget that. And now we will begin our virtual assembly. Give me two seconds to start presenting. All right, um, I can only see a few classrooms on my screen now, so I'm gonna give a shout out to Ms. Barnes class. Ms. Barnes class, if you can ra raise a thumb up in the air to let me know that you can see the presentation or thumbs down if you cannot. Excellent, all right, let's get started. Welcome to our 2021-2022 student orientation. You've been here a couple of weeks. Your teachers have gone through all of their expectations for you, which are all very similar to our expectations, but we wanted to go through some school-wide expectations with you. So we all know our mission. We say it every single day. It is to ensure that all students learn at high levels to become high quality, academically prepared global citizens. That is your mission all the way through until you graduate from the best high school in all of Oklahoma. You are um, in your 100th year of being, well, you're in your 100th year of class in, which means you are continuing a tradition of 100 years of comets. You're continuing a legacy of the best students in all of OKCPS. We expect the best out of you, and you should expect the best out of yourself. Really quickly, we're going to have the administrators um, come on here and introduce themselves. Of course, my name is Mr. Thomas, and I am your head principal, Mr. Blanco. He is an A106. Mr. Blanco, if you can pop on and say hello, hopefully your face will come on as one of the speakers. 
Hello to Hello all the to fifth all grade and the school. I am Mr. Blanco. My office is A106B, and I am the administrator of the fifth graders. Wonderful, Mr. Blanco. Miss Allen. Hello, all students. Today is um, my day to tell you that my office is in B200. For those of you who haven't seen me in my office, and I am the sixth or eighth grade principal in students A through K, and I am also the person you would come to if you have questions about your IB program. Wonderful. Thank you, Miss Allen and Miss Bonner. All right. I think Miss Bonner may have been working with a parent this morning. Uh, Miss Bonner is in B300. She, oh, I'm there here. she is. There she is. Okay. I'm Miss Bonner. I'm in B300. I have uh, grade L students L through Z, grade six through eight, and I'm also the visual performing arts principal. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you, Miss Bonner. So those are your administrators and where to find them. Let's go over some of our student expectations. Now you have gone over them in your classroom with your teachers, but let we're going to tell you a little bit about what we expect from you. We, of course, number one, we expect you to be safe. We expect us to keep you safe. One of the ways we can do that, certainly with COVID-19, is wearing our mask every single day. Now, I give you paper masks um, in the morning if you don't have them. However, Nurse One does have cloth masks if you would like a more permanent solution to the fact that you may not have a mask. So please make sure that we're wearing our mask on campus at all times. Make sure that we are creating some distance between ourselves and others because if someone is positive that you are around, as long as you are not around them for more than 15 minutes and six feet or less, then you will be um, in the clear. But those, can, those conditions can get you in a little bit of trouble. Um, some people that are also here to keep you safe in the building are Officer David and Miss Hazelrig. You see them most often at lunch, but they're here all day, every day to assist you. Um, one important thing that they can assist you with is if you have lost something, they can do lost item reports. So make sure that you come to the office. If you lose any items, we have a report and then we will um, attempt to find it. Certainly, if you are seeing something that looks out of place or it looks like it is not safe, then please, you must tell us. we got to keep all of our comments safe. We, of course, are a zero tolerance to harassment and bullying. So make sure that you do not do any of those things. And if somebody says something to you that says you're being a bully, then that's your opportunity to think in your, in your head, what am I doing that makes them feel that way? And that means I need to stop. Please, if you are seeing any harassment or any bullying of any kind, please see your counselors, administrators, or Officer David and Miss Hazelrig, or your teachers. Every single teacher is available to help with that as well. There is zero tolerance to let you know that if you are um, considered bullying and we go through a bullying report, then we do have to report that to the state of Oklahoma. So that is not something you want on your record at all. Also, um, if you are here after school for any activities, please make sure that you are with a sponsor um, because a lot of students like to linger around and visit, visit clubs and visit activities that they're not even a part of. Make sure that you are going home by 420 because we cannot keep you safe if you are not with a sponsor because we're not here 24 hours a day. All right, so to talk a little bit more about lunch, Ms. Bonner, take it away. Okay, first of all, you can eat in the cafeteria, um, the areas between the um, dance annex in the main building and the soccer field and I think what a look the soccer field and um i hope i have missed any locations so but 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 please make sure you clean up after yourself every day pick up your trash put it in the trash and the library right now um, the library is not available but it will be available probably the second week of september you'll you'll be going there but it'll be in small um small groups but you have a pass and remember, you can't have in no out food delivery. No out absolutely no out food delivery. 
we have to either have, have bring your lunch or eat in the cafeteria. So absolutely. That is something that, especially with cell phones and credit cards these days, it is very yes. tempting to do some Uber Eats ordering or some Postmates. Please, we are not accepting any outside food delivery um, at this time. If your parent wants to come bring you lunch and bring it to the office, that's okay. But we are not using any apps to do that. So none of that. Do not make the office staff um, angry because that is the number one way to do that. I guarantee it. All right. So we will move on to dress code and dress code will be Miss Allen speaking a little bit about dress code. Oh, students, you know, this is my topic of choice. So what does it mean to be in dress code? Well, class and students must adhere to the general guidelines that are set up by our district. Those guidelines are on the district website, but we've highlighted just a few. Um, all clothes must cover the midriff. No tummies at classin should be seen. Um, also, there are to be no hats, no hoodies or beanies. The only head coverings that can be worn are if you are wearing something for religious reasons. So no hats, no hoodies, no beanies. Sorry, everyone. So teachers at this time, check to make sure no one in your class is wearing any of those things. They can take them off. So Miss Allen, does that mean I can't wear my hoodie at all? Or does that mean I can't wear my hood on my head from my hoodie? Correct. We are going to let you wear the coolest shirts in town, which is a hoodie, but you cannot pull it up over your head. Now, once the weather gets cold or if you want to wear your beanie in a hundred degree heat outside, hats are okay outside, but not in the building. If we have to continue to talk to you about that, your administrator is probably going to take that for, from you and keep it till the end of the day. So no hats, hoods, or beanies inside the building. Please don't have us have to talk to you about it. Um, that is also just so you know, for your safety, if we ever needed to look at a camera to identify someone for any reason, if you had a hoodie on, it's kind of hard for us to see. So we definitely need to make sure that we are able to identify people at all times. Um, next, your shorts. They can um, not be shorty shorts. They have to be longer than your fingertips. Um, please adhere to that and check yourself uh, before you wreck yourself. I know that was super cool. Um, next, <laughs> you are not uh, to wear shirts and um, jackets or anything like that that promote profanity, drugs, alcohol, or inappropriate images. If you have that on, uh, please make sure that you um, don't wear that anymore uh, from today on. And if we see that, we're going to ask you to remove it. And we have some really cool um, principal sanctioned clothes that could be worn if if there's a if that continues to be a problem. And, then, and those and those, Miss Allen, would be the height of style. Yes, they are. They are super cool. Um, and then lastly, just make sure that any um, shirt that you're wearing has at least two inch wide straps. Um, that's just uh, a district policy, not a class and policy, a district policy. So that is it for the dress code. If you have any questions about dress code, you can see me at lunchtime. In the morning, I can totally explain it to you again. Thanks. Thank you, Miss Allen. All right. So attendance is very important. Of course, attendance is directly correlated to your academic performance. You must be here. However, if you are not feeling well, then you can jump on Canvas. Please stay home if you're not feeling well. However, it is important that when you're feeling well, 
um, to please be coming to school and get in your classes. Um, chronic absenteeism. Chronic is a term that means something that happens all of the time. So if you are chronically absent, many things can occur. We can put you on an attendance improvement plan, um, parent conferences. We can put you on an attendance tracking sheet that's often um, called a drag sheet. And also you can have daily check-ins with your administrators. So let's just go ahead and be on time every day and be in class. Also, um, let's talk a little bit about what happens between classes and that will be handled by Mr. Blanco. Okay, class and comments. So let's talk about uh, hallway expectations. So when you're going to your classrooms, please be on time, okay? Uh, we are having a problem with tardies. So in the morning, if you are in the gym or in the auditorium, you are being released at 8.55. Class does not start till 9, 10, so you have 15 minutes to make it to class. And we are we still have students being tardy during this time. Um, in between classes, uh, that's not in the morning at 8.55, you have five minutes to get to class. Uh, use this time to go use the restroom. Uh, fifth graders, I know you guys are running to your lockers. So if you're going to your locker, please don't sit there and wait on a friend go straight to class after you get your books or whatever materials you need uh and go to class don't sit there and wait on a friend um if you need to go use the restroom go use the restroom during this time if you think you're not going to make it to class because there might be a line or uh you are running a little behind please go to class first and then ask a teacher if you could go use the restroom if you know if you need to go to the vending machine, please go to class first. Do not go to the vending machine first. If a teacher allows you to go to the vending machine, please ask for a pass, and you and you'll be allowed to go to the vending machine. There will be consequences if you are tardy. There will be classroom consequences, academic consequences, and coming soon, we will be having lunch detention. So please, if you want to avoid all of these things, please don't be tardy, especially if you're a volleyball player, okay? Uh, and I think that's all I have. All right, and certainly we have a wonderful long lunch, which is fantastic, 40 minutes. And as fantastic as that is, that sounds equally miserable to spend lunch detention in. So do not end up there. All right, so to talk a little bit more about academics, Miss Allen. Okay, academics, my other favorite topic. Um, please check daily on Infinite Campus if you are wanting to see what your grades are because Infinite Campus is your grade book. Um, parents will be able to sign up for Infinite Campus as well if they have not already, and they'll get to see your grades instantly. Doesn't that sound fun? Um, you are going to be able to always check on your Canvas. Your Canvas account is where we will sometimes post uh, messages for the whole entire school to see. So that's a place. And that's also where all of your work is uh, supposed to be housed and what is going on in your classes. So it's very important that you open up your computer and look at Canvas on a daily basis. Super important at class and School of Advanced Studies to stay organized. So one of the ways that you can do that is to use your agendas. Um, some of you got one during Camp Comet. Um, we do have those available extras if you need one and you haven't gotten one. We have those for sale. Um, but also, you can go to the store and buy one. You can also use a spiral notebook to make your own agenda. Super important to keep notes of the things that are due. Um, and one of those ways is through an agenda. We have calendars. You can buy a calendar, old-fashioned paper, like all of us used when we were kids back in the day. But also, you guys have access to a Canvas calendar. So your teachers can post your assignments and when they're due on there. 
There's always super important ways for you to stay organized. And those are two of the ways. Teachers are communicating to you through your classroom uh, in person. They're also uh, sometimes sending emails to you. So emails is another thing that you can check and they're sending emails to your parents. Um, Mr. Thomas is super famous for sending out Blackboard messages um, to your parents and they always start with and say class and SAS on them. So that means they're about you and not about a brother or a sister or someone else that um, goes to another school. So we're always trying to communicate. And then one more thing that's not on our slide uh, that we communicate, one way that we communicate is through our virtual headquarters. I can't remember if there's a slide on this, but uh, it's coming up, but that's another way to keep organized. So we're going to be talking more about that in just a minute. And then for those of you who are interested in additional support from us, we are going to be starting um, Saturday Academies. Those are coming soon. That's extra tutoring for you. Um, it will be on Saturday from nine to noon um, and they are virtually. So you can stay in your PJs and participate um, and so that's always a plus um, and then um, also we have some after school tutoring that also will be coming soon look for those opportunities towards the end of september um, into october excellent miss allen and miss allen you're going to be right back with us talking about some student behaviors so um, unfortunately, no one in the world is perfect. And so sometimes we do have some undesirable behavior that happens at class and uh, hopefully very minimal because we are here to achieve and participate as um, citizens of class. And, and so um, we have a reputation of uh, good behavior, but in case there is an incident, um, there are three levels uh, basically that you need to know about. And so the first step is, is that your teacher is always going to try to be that first line of trying to work with you and build that relationship and help you to be a better uh, class and citizen and student. Um, so the first level is that the teacher is going to try to deal with that teacher managed. Um, if that behavior continues, there's a step two, and that is that uh, teachers have been told by the administrators that they have to contact your parents. That's the next step. So if you do not want your parent to be contacted for your behavior in your classroom, then, hey, don't do it. But if they do contact your parents, there is an opportunity then for you to correct that behavior with a parent call or maybe even a conference with the teacher. And then last, if it keeps on happening or it's something severe, then there is that administrator referral. And we do have a referral system. It is an infinite campus. And unfortunately, it follows you all the way through your school career. So you want to make sure that you do not have those uh, permanent things on your record. So in order for that to happen, you need to be great every day. And then Miss Bonner is going to talk about the bottom part of this slide. Okay, at Classen, we've at Classen, we follow the student code of conduct. Cla remember, Classen is a school of choice, your choice and our choice. So just be on your best behavior. And that's all that we ask of you, be on your best behavior. That's it. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. So um, your counselor, speaking of behaviors and emotional wellness, so your counselors are here to help you with any of those items or things. Um, first off, um, I would like to introduce you to Miss Davis Gibson. She can say hi and tell you a little bit more about her. Oh, yeah. so mute. Good morning. I am Evelyn Davis Gibson, 
the proud counselor of the best fifth grade students in the district. I am located on the second floor, B208. Please come by to see me. Come at lunch. When you're there at lunch, come up and chat with me. I'd love to visit with you. We're going to have an awesome year. All right, excellent. Um, next up, Miss Woodall. Miss Woodall, you may have to unmute. I would do that. <laughs> Good morning, comments. I'm Miss Woodall, and I am the counselor for A through K, six through eight, and the IB uh, person also. I'm in the first floor, A one twelve, and uh, come and see me. I have little. Uh, notes out there that you can fill out and put them in my box and then i will call you down when uh, the next time i i check it every hour so i will call you at the following hour and welcome glad to see all the bright shiny faces every morning through scanning excellent awesome all right next up is miss hadley hi everyone i'm miss hadley I'm the counselor for L through Z. I am located in B311. A lot of you have already come to see me. Um, we are still working on schedule changes, so email me. We have the deadline today. Um, anyway, glad to see everyone. That's all. Wonderful. Thank you. So certainly see your counselors. Um, something I always say is if um, you are am having an issue with another student, um, and you want to solve the issue, talking to a counselor is a fantastic way to do so. Um, that is not ratting anyone out or telling on anybody. That is just simply trying to solve a problem. That's certainly what we expect our comments to do. We should be problem solvers. All right, next up. Sorry, everybody. Mr. Thomas. Yes, ma'am. Oh, we forgot to mention uh, the counselor's expectations that we would like all students to go to their class before coming to the counseling office uh, so they're not counted absent. They can email the counselor or have the teacher call us or email us and we will call them down because we have some students just waiting for us to return to our offices and they uh, need a pass from their teacher before they come and see us. And uh, I just want to say one thing. This is a book about the boy, the boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse by Charlie Mackesy. And it says, what is the bravest thing you've ever said? Asked the boy. Help, said the horse. So remember, we're all here to help you in every way that we can. And sometimes it, it does take bravery to ask for help. So Please don't be shy and come and see us or any adult to help you. Thank you. Absolutely, thank you. Great words. Um, that is a very smart book. All right, next. All right, so if you're wondering, Ms. Allen had, noted, had mentioned earlier, if you're wondering how to connect to us, there are certainly lots of opportunities. We are a very communicative um, school. So make sure that you are following us. We have um, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram for the studio. And also, if you want to stay up to date, we try to do Canvas announcements for everything, but also the virtual HQ is really your headquarters and landing page for almost everything that happens here at Classen. We have visual performing arts pages. We have sports pages. Um, all the schedules, if you're wondering um, when the next volleyball game is, you can find it there. Please make sure you are favoriting and bookmarking the virtual HQ as I will reference it on an almost daily basis. Mr. Thomas, uh, just yes, real quick on, on that uh, note. Um, we have, as principals and I'm sure counselors too, we have received lots of emails about students who are needing help to get on Infinite Campus or um, to get to the virtual headquarters, um, please talk to an adult. One of your teachers can show you. So we don't want anyone to miss out on something. So if you need help, um, we're always, all the administrators are in the cafeteria during lunch. We can show you there. Um, we have counselors that are coming in at lunch as well. 
um, so we can show you because we don't want you to be lost. So that's a great opportunity and a place for us to help you. Absolutely. Thank you, Miss Allen. All right. So big announcements for open house. Make sure to save the date for September 14th. Um, a lot of people have been asking about clubs. Now, some clubs have probably already met because they had some existing membership from previous years. However, they will all be seeking for new members um, during open house. They'll also be fundraising during that time. So please make sure to bring some money um, for open house. That is after school. Um, you'll get a little bit more information about the timing as things get um, nailed down for open house. That is a great time to walk your schedule with your um, parents, show them all the great things and great classrooms that you visit on a daily basis. And we'll also be asking for some students to perform that evening in different places in the building. Um, and so we'll get some information from you. That is a great opportunity um, to perform in front of other um, people. Um, so hopefully as we move um, on towards um, towards the school year that that will be an actual in-person activity that is what we are going for right now um, we will certainly let you know if any of that changes but get excited for open house really quickly kind of on that same vein i just wanted to talk to you a little bit about what remote learning can look like here at classen so the district has already slated in the calendar for this year, seven days of virtual learning. And so those are one Monday a month. And the first one I believe comes up on September 20th. That will be a day of asynchronous learning. And so those two words became really, really big last year. And they're words that you will have to try to remember because they're very similar. However, they mean very different things. And so these virtual days, that are coming um, once a month, once one Monday or month are asynchronous. That means simply, if you remember, no live classes. Asynchronous always means no live classes. So there will be no bell schedule on those days and you will have Canvas assignments uploaded, but it will depend on whether that's an asynchronous A day or an asynchronous B day. So those are already in the schedule. Those will absolutely happen. So prepare your mind for that. However, there may be times in which the district will move to remote learning. Um, that could be because of COVID cases in the district, COVID cases out of school. It could also be because of a large storm or anything like that. If anybody remembers last year, there were a lot of those times. So I wanna to talk to you a little bit about that in case they happen. They, there is no plans for those to happen, um, but you never know. So in case that happens, if the district does decide to do a remote learning day, be careful to pay attention to the word synchronous because the districts will use words like asynchronous and synchronous. They may not use virtual or remote the same way we do. So make sure that you're paying attention to asynchronous and synchronous. Synchronous days are where we have live classes, but those are on Google Meet. So make sure that you know, we, like I said, we have no plans to do that right now. So we have not released a virtual bell schedule because we have no plans to do so. However, it is ready to go in case we need it. And we will release a virtual bell schedule if necessary. Also on those days, virtual attendance is expected. You are expected to log into your classes on synchronous days. Those classes are held on Google Meets and you can find those links on your Canvas pages. Remember, synchronous days are right now not scheduled and the Lord willing, we will not have any of them this year. All right, so big topic the last couple of weeks is student council. So signing up to run for student council has been closed. And so hopefully you got your submission in. Our sponsor is Miss Himmelberg. I wanted to let you know that the website for Stuco is right on the virtual HQ. There's a little snippet right there. Campaigning begins on Monday. We've got lots of fun ways to campaign. I know Ms. Hummelberg probably sent that out or will be sending that out very quickly on ways that we can campaign. We've learned some things from the um, from last year that will make some really dynamic campaigning this year. Um, 
we certainly love posters. So please make sure to make some posters. Voting will be on Wednesday, September 1st. So that's about a week and a half of campaigning and very, very big when, especially for you eighth graders, this will depend on who you want to listen to every Friday because the eighth grade president will begin making Friday announcements instead of me on September 3rd. So choose wisely. Some student council events that are coming up. Wish Week is already planned for October 25th through the 29th. So that will be very, very exciting. Of course, details are to come. We'll have, of course, quarterly spirit days. We may even have them more often than that. And our spring fair is, of course, the last day of school. And everybody had a great time last year. Excited about that. Mr. Blanco is going to very quickly talk about some class and sports because that's starting Monday. So uh, we do have a volleyball game. Everybody, if you want to join and support your class and comment volleyball girls, um, we have a game this Monday against Star Spencer. We have a seventh uh, grade uh, game and an eighth grade game. So we have two games here at Classen. Um, also, if you want to play sports, it doesn't matter what sport it is. It could be even a winter sport or a spring sport. Uh, go ahead. You don't have to wait till the season starts for you to get your physical or rank one done. So if you want to go ahead and get your physical done now, uh, that will relieve the coaches and relieve you guys from worrying about that once the season starts. Uh, it doesn't take that long to get your rank one done, 30 minutes or less. Physicals, you can see your doctor, and I'm pretty sure there will be physicals provided for free, either here at Classen or be uh, on the lookout for uh, any other schools that we know of that are giving out free physicals. We'll give you that information. But please don't wait till basketball, soccer, baseball. These are sports that be that will be held in the future. Don't wait for those to begin. So get the, get your physical and rank one out the way. And if you already take a physical for softball, volleyball, and football, you're good to go. So you only need one physical to play uh, per year. So you should be good to go. All right. And your athletic director is Mr. Jason Pickard. He is in C104, very easy to find on your way to the cafeteria. So if you have any questions about athletics or rank one, um, I'm sure that Mr. Blanco or Mr. Pickard would be happy to answer them. Mr. Pickard, if you're on here and you want to say anything else, I'd love to give you that opportunity or we can keep moving. All right. We will keep moving. Um, we are almost completed. But one very important thing that we need to teach you since we're not going to be able to do it in a big group together. However, a lot of you learned it. A lot of you new comments learned it at Camp Comet. This is how we're going to end our assembly. So we are just a couple of minutes overdue. Um, not too shabby, I don't feel like. But um, this is our class in chant. And it's very simply when I or anybody asks comments, how do you feel? You respond with we feel good Oh, we feel so good. And then a very emphatic, oh. So I would invite all students to join me in this. I am way over here on the north side, north side of the building in a room with my door closed. I would love to be able to hear you when you do this chant. However, to do that, that might mean that teachers may have to um, put their hand, fingers in their ears because this hopefully will be extremely loud. This is where we're going to end our assembly. So let's get ready. Let's get our voices primed. Take a deep breath. Let's see if I can hear you. Comments, how do you feel? We feel good. We feel so good. <laughs> All right, excellent. Well done. I did hear you from the first um, floor. Fantastic. All right, thank you so much, Comets. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. We will see you soon. All right, guys. Putting feet through for the video. Something's weird. <laughs>